What you often see in industrial heating and cooling applications that could be a brewery is pumps operating at full speed or speed control at too high differential pressure. They operate against regulating valves that are set at too high pressure loss and that generates uh, energy waste uh, wear on the system and uh, reduced comfort in the system. Industrial heating and cooling is traditionally a rather conservative branch based on proven technologies. Besides that, there's a general misconception that if you just install a frequency converter in front of your pump, you're automatically saving energy. That is often far from the truth, and that leaves a lot of room for improvement by adding a good control strategy. What we have here is a typical circulator system, and what we often see is that the pumps are operating at too high differential pressure, generating excessive loss in the string regulating valves. What we suggest is that we reduce uh, the differential pressure in the main circulator pumps, and whenever it's possible, remove the string regulating valves and substituting them with uh, speed control spring regulating pumps operating directly at temperature control. That could be TPEs and magnet trees. Reducing the differential pressure of the main circulator pumps and removing the spring regulating valves is reducing the losses in the system and thereby saving a lot of energy. In heating and cooling applications, the major advantage is, of course, the energy savings. But also the design and integration can reduce the pump size and reduce the losses in the regulating valves. And that is able to save also on the component cost. 